And we're back in Stone Shard to continue our great sword run with uh, good old Anna. Let's see. Here, here's something that I just thought of. What race is Anna? She's probably human. Human from Eldor. All right. I see. Yeah, just curious. Uh, well, what were we doing this episode? We are gonna be buying some food. I think I did the item management in the previous one. And we're going to a crypt this time, so I suppose we will buy some more food. Oh, and I had to sell the mead here. I hate this word, mead. Because it's precisely the same pronunciation as meat. I'm trying to put emphasis on the tea and the meat. But even then, when I don't do it in meat, then it sounds just the same. <sighs> yeah, bread and a potato. And... We didn't buy any headgear and we are missing a necklace, but it's fine, I think. And we had we got an enchantment on our sword, which is amazing. Do we buy another roasted drumstick? Maybe we buy a smoked ham to start lugging around as a backup food. I think I took enough food though already. Might be overkill with the smoked ham, but I'm gonna buy it. So that we don't run out of food again like in the previous episode. Do you want to buy a bucket, sir? No. I bet this guy does. There you go. Anything here to grab? Great swords treaties? No. Just a sword treaties. And anything else? I don't really know. Not really, no. But we could get a necklace. For 29 coins, I get a copper chain. Getting some more bling. Alright. And let's see. We have a fearsome mound and the cold vault. So in if my memory serves me, they sort of are always placed in the same spots, these two dungeons, and usually the southern one is the the first one you get sent to on the on the quest. I think they are supposed to be sort of same level, but we'll go to the southern one first. So it's we follow the world west until it bends and then we go south it sounds relatively easy let's drop the map in the puddle here just because it's kind of fun and go and sell the comb that i didn't get rid of i still feel like i'm forgetting something here in my uh, in the leaving town stuff i've filled my water skin i repaired my items i have medical supplies and i have food and i have 19 arrows I repaired my bow. I think we are ready to go. I'm probably just being paranoid. All right. So this is the furthest we've gone with the great sword build at this point. And we're still level two. Oh, horse tail and bark bean. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Free stuff. We do have to find some uh, fly Garrick on the way. My build, the way I'm running my build at the moment, is kind of reliant on the fly Garrick as a way of dealing with pain. We don't have anything else for it. I sold all the other pain reducing items. I think Bark Bean also helps, but not as much. That's a bear. Right away. Okay, let's go one south early on. And then we just... Oh, here's something we can fight. Come up here. How far away is he? We have to switch. Good. Rest up. Uh, I'm hungry. Okay. We can deal with that. Eat some cheese. Oh man, I'm hungry. I'm actually starving in real life. I should have eaten before I started the episode. I could go for some cheese right now. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Ah. Uh, and then he's dead. Yeah. Wow. That was like five or four or five arrows that hit, which is pretty crazy. Oh, are we going south already? I'm worried that that is incorrect. I think this is too early to turn south. Switch, stands, charge. And there's the level up. And then we find a copper chain. <sighs> Game is taunting me. Yeah. All right. Uh, and we need to drink and level. And we will double down on strength for sure to get that block chance as high as possible. Then find great swords in here and probably just get the Feast of Steel going. Otherwise, we would get. Courage instantly refreshes the cooldown of your Roy charge if it manages to kill its target. That's kind of useless. The ability range increase is kind of nice. And energy restoration down below is also decent. So it's not completely trash. Recklessness is for each adjacent enemy grants 5% crit chance and 5% counter chance. And this one, I think I already told you guys what I think about this. Because we already have something that gives us 100% crit. And we already have something that gives us a hundred percent counterattack, both of them in only in certain situations, but then it still de devalues this passive a bit. The Feast of Steel is really, really good though. Now I need to find a great great sword treat as soonish. And we have Megalomania going again, right? That's kind of fitting, I suppose. So now I need to switch to melee weapons one turn earlier again, which then slowly makes the bow completely obsolete. It's still decent for this kind of thing. Drawing one guy away from the group. Though I don't, I th I'm assuming that we could take both of these guys at the same time if I wanted, but there's just no reason to take that risk. So switch, Feast of Steel, parry, then charge. And everything we do then is a crit. That's insane! But crits are then a little bit less good. Yeah, lower crit efficiency, lower weapon damage overall, and lower accuracy. So you don't get... The, the, the difference is that you, you lower your minimum damage, but you also lower your... No, you raise your minimum damage, but you lower your maximum damage, right? Because potentially, theoretically, it's not impossible for me to always crit on normal attacks, and they would then do more damage if I don't have the Feast of Steel up. But the minimum damage on the Feast of Steel is way higher. Way, way higher and consistent. So it is absolutely worth it, no doubt. So we need to go one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we need to switch here. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> this is kind of perfect. Counting down. And then just yeah. Cutting heads off. Another cover chain game is taunting me. As soon as I buy a new great sword, we will be finding great swords everywhere. I found two cover chains on the way to the dungeon. All right, but let's go up here. I think this is a T crossing up here. So not where I needed to turn. Is that a fire, Garrick? Yes. Yeah, this is a T crossing. So, or it's a crossing. Got more human enemies. Don't mind if I do. Maybe we try to charge in on these guys, just see how it goes. Alright, and oh, my Feast of Steel ran out. Too bad. Hmm. Is there a way for me to charge the guy in the back? I don't think so. We will have to. Just go in here. It's 
fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely already getting a really, really strong. At least against against weaker opponents, you will be cutting them down like weeds. Another snake ambush. And then wolves. Okay, we are really getting to fight a lot here. This I'm not so sure about. First of all, I'm not ready for the fight. My energy is pretty low. I'm just going to run. I don't think we can take this fight right now without really big risk. If even... If there's even a chance of winning, I'm not so sure. Okay, we lost two of the wolves there. Okay. That's right, motherfuckers. Oh, the Feast of Steel ran out. Damn it. One more. Okay, and what am I taking damage for? I'm bleeding, but it's not showing up here. Probably because of the megalomania. But that's just kind of silly. Why would it not show up here when it's showing in here? And I mean, it's very clear that I'm bleeding. Taking damage for every move. Interesting. And we have another enemy coming in, just as I finish that one fight. I think we are going back to town after all of this. If we are even fighting those guys, there's three of them coming in again. God damn it, man. Yeah, no, I'm running. This is way too risky. Gotta remember that my stats or my, my health bar and my energy bar is lower than it shows because I've had my medical mania, so it's not showing me the correct numbers. Alright, let's go in now. Why can I not use my abilities? Because I have the wrong weapon out. Five, four, charge. Charge the next one in line. All right, and I've I've decided just here and now that we should put up parry before Feast of Steel because for Feast of Steel is way shorter duration, so that makes way more sense to switch these toes around. Loot Falcon, we are going back to town to sell this loot here. So if you want to see the dungeon, skip ahead in the video because it's going to take a little while for us to get there. This copper chain sells for nothing. And we found a trap right here. Alright. And I kind of wanted the wolf pelt as well. We are coming back this way so I can drop these herbs here. And let's grab my one arrow up here and then go back to town, sell this loot. Come out again the same way. Richer than ever before. Oh, and this is the melee. We are pretty close to the town, so it should be quick. And I need to buy a fresh bandage as well. Uh, though I could have probably gotten away with not using that bandage. I forgot about that. My new bandit approach. Bandage. Bandage. Not bandit. That's a different thing. Where we just need the breeding uh, clot itself. So what are we doing in town? We're selling to the smith. And the tailor. Maybe he has a headgear for me now. We're not really close to getting enough money for the male coif. But any kind of headgear would be an upgrade here. Oh, and he does have a, an arming cap. We will take that for sure. One extra protection. Can't argue with that. Buy my pelt. I will go and... So the arming cap here looks pretty silly, though. But whatever. Efficiency over cosmetics. Oh, we are very close to being able to afford a vivifying essence. That's the thing that I could have bought and I should have 
Yeah, but it's too late now. Okay. Next time we're in town, we gotta try it. Remember to buy the vivifying essence. Note to self. Here's two flyer Garricks. Let's try to get to the dungeon now. We're hungry again. Oh, do we need... Yeah, I should go and fill up my water skin. It is the sensible thing to do, because I have experienced running out of water before, and it's not a good thing. So, now that we are so close to the town, should I repair? Yeah. I should go and repair at least by the tailor. Let's repair by the smith as well, and everything closed. You know what? Screw it. We're going. I'm not about to go to bed and sleep just for that. But silly when we just did both merchants, so I should have just done it then. It's all right, though. Let's talk to this guy. I don't think anything has changed here, but you never know. He just says he doesn't want to talk to me, all right? Because the other shops are closed, so he's trying to follow suit. All the cool guys are closing their shops early. If all the other shops' owners just jumped off a bridge, would he follow? Oh, oh. <laughs> just bores. There's an arrow there, but we don't care. Let's just move. Try to get to the freaking dungeon. Get out the bow and... Oh boy. Um, That was a very scary group. They had a crossbow and a man with proper equipment on. So as much as I'm confident that we are doing well, I don't think I'm confident enough to fight that group of enemies right there. Like four at once. Even with the Feast of Steel, uh, there's there's probably a chance that we could beat that group without too much of a hassle. But we don't know that for a fact. And I'm not about to risk this playthrough on a whim. Burdock. Now we are full up again. I can have another burdock. I guess we'll take another one. And then the pine cap, we'll just eat another pine cap. Yeah. Do they get rid of intoxication? Oh, they do. All right. So that's just not uh, that that was Something that I could have thought out before drinking or eating all those pine caps in the previous episode. A bear trap found somewhere, it doesn't really matter. More pine cap. Eat, eat. Pick up two new ones and keep moving. Now, what do we have here? Any. Ghouls, yes. They're pretty weak though. We should be okay. Five, four, three. Oh, he crit me. How dare you crit me? Oh, there are enemies nearby. Let's just go down. Hope that there's no one right at the entrance here. Of course, no such luck, but it's just an easy enemy. Just put up the parry. Good. Should be able to rest here then. Yep. All right. So how does the great sword fare against the proselytes? Question mark. Probably decently. Uh, let's move back here. 
Oh. All right. Anyway, switch to parry. Feast of Steel. Charge one tile. Sure. He had damage reflection. That's why I took damage here. Okay. I'm in pain. Is that other guy not coming? He is. All right. We still have Feast of Steel. Okay, then move back, close the door, rest up. And we are in pain. How badly? Enough for a fly, Gary, for sure. Thirsty. We are really, really unlucky with the aggroing in both in this episode and the previous one. I don't get to use the bow all that much, and we seem to aggro multiple enemies continuously. Oh, I don't think he's seen me yet, so I should be able to rest up. Yeah. Open the door. Move one forward. Parry. Piece of steel, charge. Here's a downside. Oh, this is why I'm making noise, because I'm hitting these two destructibles next to me. It's a Kavakai. So that's another thing to consider with the Feast of Steel. Not to mention that I'm about to destroy these two sarcophagi, so we would lose the loot from them. Oh, I didn't buy lockpicks in the town. Are you kidding me? I think it's pretty rare that there's chests in chests in the crypts. So I don't want to go back. I think usually after the boss, though, there will be one. So it is going to suck. But now there are chests and dungeons and crypts, I mean... Occasionally. Ah, oh, that's stupid. Yeah, I really... <laughs> I need to find my list. I lost it. And I did check between this episode and the last. I couldn't find it. I don't know where I put it. It's probably under something. Anyway. Burdock lowers intoxication over time and increases health restoration. Oh, we should apply a healing self here. Let's just apply a burdock. Okay, try to advance again. We're not going back for the lockpicks. It's going to suck. But we've already been back and forth too many times this episode. Switch, parry, piece of steel, charge. And his damage reflection is really hurting me a lot. It's pretty annoying. Ah, it's too early to loot. Come up here. How are we doing on arrow 17? Well, there's an altar here. That we will pop before going to the next floor. What do we have here? No charge for this guy. <laughs> block, 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 block. Lovely. I will do later. Rest up. Come over here. Check for traps on the way. Everything seems to be in order. I don't think we should get out the bow here. It seems like it's really small quarters, close quarters combat. 
Now we get a long corridor here where bow can be utilized. Oh, and a trap. Don't step on the trap, but do shout here for a few turns. And then just rest. See if anyone comes running. Unfortunately not. All right. We have to try to disarm it. 80, 91. And it failed. Okay, we got it. And we didn't take all that much damage from it. Maybe we don't take as much damage from failing to disarm as you do as for stepping onto it. That would make sense. And you could sort of do it at arm's length. But you still get cut. Uh, do we do it with these warships? Preferably not. We haven't found any other weapons, though. Okay, let's see just for fun. I'll do it only do it once. How long does it take? Oh, I screwed up royally here. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. I I managed to get my weapon back in hand. <laughs> that was so stupid. And then I'm dying. 40%. I didn't feel like I had time to get up my Feast of Steel there. Maybe that was silly. That was a bad fight. Hopefully he was the only one in there. We shouldn't have to rest here because I'll be looting the entire floor before we go further down. Uh, we are in pain. Eat a fly, Garrick. Yes. Drink. Yeah, pine cap just to get rid of a little bit of intoxication. So what do we do about these doors? He dropped a weapon. Okay. Go and pick up that militia flail. And there are enemies. And of course, he blocked my abilities. Okay, but we do get a chance to put up all the things and charge. Good. That surely must be the end of this floor. Yes, okay. So the rest of the floor we will just loot right now so that my health has time to recover. Maybe I use a healing self to speed it up a little bit. Money. Uh, we don't actually need to use the flail for these urns because they have one HP each. So I can just break them with my hands. Oh, but then these, I guess they are also sarcophagi. No, they're coffins, if anything, not sarcophagi. Right. Thing. We'll get that crude falcon later. Do 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 do. Looting, looting, looting. And it's fine breaking these with the weapon because I'm probably not gonna make any money off of that weapon anyway, so it'll be dropped. One coin here. Okay. Come over to the ritual site here. 
But before we do that, we might rest up a little bit more and apply some more healing salves. I didn't get as much HP back as I had hoped. We need to go to 90 at least, maybe 91. Then in here, roasted drumstick. This is one we should eat first, so we need to save up hunger. Maybe we save up, uh, just wait here until we have 30% hunger then. Then we eat that roasted drumstick and then go down. There. Good. Let's get arrows back up here. Use the ritual to get unholy blessing for 150 turns. Go, go, go. Now we are running on a buff timer. We get an immediate enemy here. I think I will put up my parry because it's just worth so much. But the Feast of Steel, I'm not sure that's worth spending a turn on in combat. Oh wow. He is tough, that guy. Okay, I have to go up a bit. 71, 71. Let's get a healing salve down there. Drink some water. Anything else? Maybe we pop a buck bean here. And health restoration on all these things would be quite nice to get going. But I want most of these for the boss fight. So honestly, I shouldn't be popping them now. Can we defeat those two enemies with what we've got? I think so. But my HP, I gotta really gotta rest just a little bit, a little bit more. There. Okay. Parry, Feast of Steel, no charge, but it's fine. Got another enemy coming in. Then, now the Feast of Steel is really showing. But we lost it. This went really well though. Charge the next guy. Uh, we have parry up. Feast of Steel. Now oh, just just hit him. It's more important to get him down quickly instead of spending an extra turn on it. Yeah. All right. What a rough entry to a floor. Uh, I think we can keep going. This was really really well uh, fought, Anna. This last one here, we barely got hit, if at all. Perry is still up, so I'm charging ahead here. Maybe this is silly. Feast of Steel, Perry. I've got another guy coming in. Uh, do we just charge forward? Whew, we are in pain again. You to fly Garrick. Good. Again, we didn't take a lot of damage in that one. We still have our unholy ritual. There's the next. Stairs down. Do we go down in hopes of finding the boss while we have the unholy blessing? Uh, the life drain here is pretty good, I'll be honest. So with eight, 63 turns still to go, I think I will. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, five, four, then down. Oh, they are all on top of me here? Insane. Okay. I mean, we'll take it. Then I don't know. I guess the next one just pops up when he's gone. No? 
There's one. So they're sort of hiding in between floors right now, which is kind of interesting. And again. Yep. <laughs> Funny. Couldn't have gone, I could have gotten the Feast of Steel up and running, but it worked out. Oh, they dropped the bandage. Nice. We still have the Unholy Blessing. So I'm going to push on a little bit more. Ah, uh, five. Oh, I can't charge here. All right. Feast of Steel it is. Ah, it's the, the Unholy Blessing that is making me continuously just have maximum HP even though we're fighting all that much. It's not that they're not hitting me. Ah. Uh, this was this would have been fine if not for the fact that my unholy blessing runs out in six turns, which is just enough that I think we won't benefit from it in this combat. And both my stances are almost offline. I kind of want to pop. This was not how I wanted to do this fight. This is a uh, proselyte hierarchy. This is the boss, right? Yes, I think so. So this could be really bad, and this is a flagellant, which are already bad. But we got Frenzy, which is lucky, and then still have Unholy Blessing going. But we don't get Feast of Steel. The thing I could do right now is run. But I could also just go in with six turns of Unholy Blessing. I think we can make some good plays here. But I do want to pop like the Agrimony is the best health restoration over time. We have a Flyer Garrick, but we are already intoxicated, so we can't go with that one. I get one turn, I think, before I have to charge. When he moves into charge range, anyway, then he should do that before three turns, so we get the parry going. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Let's start with the acrimony. Then he's moving closer, and he did summon blood golem, right? Okay. I feel like I'm throwing away the run here. But at least we get them like in a bottlenecked corridor, so it shouldn't be that bad. The Blood Golem is in here somewhere. We get to pop another item. I kind of want to do a healing salve. But that will do so little. No, it gives uh, health restoration over time. A lot, actually. Okay. Yeah, that's good then. And now we have one turn of parry up, but it'll be prolonged when I hit him here. And then again when I hit him again. That got him down. Now we put up the Feast of Steel. The enemy wizard moves forward, and we murder him. He was holding on for a long time. Now the Blood Golem. Have I ever checked your stats? You have an ability. Flesh Explosion. Right. That's just what he does when he dies. A chaotically pulsating manifestation of boiling blood and defiled flesh and pernicious magic. Okay. I will put up my parry. Ow. Okay. It has a lot of HP. Okay, and it's blowing. Good. Yeah, we got the boss without too much of a hassle here. Totally in control of the situation at all times. Totally. We've got more enemies coming in, but now I don't want to fight anymore. I am done with this. And we have Frenzy up, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned. But that is a nice, nice insanity. Probably the best one. Let's put a healing self on at least one of my limps. 
I think we've only got that one enemy to go, so it should be doable. Um, again, though, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm aware that my boots are broken, but it is what it is. What am I forgetting? To drink. Yeah, it's fine. Five, four, three, two, and attack. All right. <laughs> he didn't even get to do anything. Easy. Anyone else want some? Oh, we, we should wait so we can get some energy restoration going. But that's got to be like the entire floor we fought already. So yeah, great swords seem pretty strong. Anything up here? Oh no, okay. Uh yeah, that's the boss. I thought that other guy was the boss. But it he wasn't. The boss is in here. Interesting. I wanna pop anything, at least a healing self here. Then I wanna put up hmm. Now oh, we can see here where he is. He's here. I think he is coming to the door, so I'll wait at the door for him. I'm just gonna eat all of these herbs. Ah, didn't get all of them. Okay, it's fine. Then, Perry, Feast of Steel. Oh, that was a rough start. Okay. Does he have any defensive abilities that I need to take into account? Not really, no. No, no, so we can use the Faint Swing. As we please. I might die here. Yeah. Wow. He hits like a freaking truck. That's not how I remember him. And he's pretty tanky too. I can't get away. So this might be the end, guys. Oh boy. I'm bleeding, but what can I do other than I gotta... I gotta remove him, if anything. And that's it. Alright. Man, I really thought... That I was just on a roll here, but maybe he got a lucky hit in or something. Cause I don't remember him being so strong. All right, but we were low level for coming to this dungeon, so maybe I deserve this. But we were just plowing through everything else as if it was nothing. Man, that sucks. Okay, that's the end of the Great Soul Run. So I will see you guys who only follow the Storm Shard series at the fourteenth. Uh, of March, which I think is the set date, and I'm gonna try to stay vigilant and find out what exactly, at what time of day the update lands, so that when, like, as soon as my game is done updating, I will be starting a stream, and then I'm gonna be attempting, I would like to be the first guy to beat the troll on stream, and do it in the first attempt. So we're done doing it, I think, the one I've decided to do it with is Geomancy. So we'll see about that oh, when we come around. Sorry for that. I hit the microphone. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the Stone Shard so far. And yeah, stay, stay cool and see you then. Bye-bye.